Hi everyone, welcome back to the series of um, clips dedicated to uh, socket A motherboards. Today we're going to look at uh, the benchmarks um, and the features of uh, the ABIT NF7 and we're going to start with the BIOS. The first option uh, allows some uh, quick uh, operations like defining the CPU speed and uh, voltage. This shows the booting order. And this is uh, rather important because it allows you to specify the timings for the memory. Uh, in this case I'm using a fairly um, expensive, expensive at the time uh, Corsair RAM. Uh, which allows me to run it uh, in 2326 configuration and uh, then uh, the rest of the options are just the regular type We're going to save and let it uh, boot into Windows. And now we're going to look at the motherboard CD uh, and the driver installation. And first we're going to look at all the devices that uh, are driverless. The video card already has a driver installed. And I'm going to continue with the driver installation. We're going to run the CD again. Some of the devices are not uh, fully functioning. There are some issues with them. I'm going to look into that a bit later. There's the serial ETA driver. I'm not going to install that because I'm not using one. And now we're going to look through the folders that are on the CD.
And now onto the benchmarks. First off, we're gonna start with the um, CPU and the GPU Z. As you noticed, the instructions for the CPU are, um, yeah, quite a few. <laughs> um, and the processor is lacking uh, SSE 2. And we're gonna start with uh, PC Mark. This should give us a good overview of the processor, RAM and hard drive performance. And also some video performance as well. And here are the scores. Next we're gonna look at uh, Super Pi. We're gonna do the one uh, mega byte uh, test. And this is the default setting for the CPU. With the tight uh, timings on the RAM. And we're also going to overclock the CPU a bit and run the same test. You can see from the timings that uh, this is a bit faster. The CPU as well is a bit faster. But it's just some uh, light overclock I did here. I uh, didn't go as much as the motherboard or the CPU can. And now we're gonna do some uh, Sandra benchmarks. Uh, from now on the CPU is back to stock speeds and we're gonna keep it um, at stock speeds for the rest of the tests. I chose uh, some of the CPUs I had before. So my initial CPU was a 2800 plus and the others are just the regular competitors. And moving on to the multimedia uh, benchmarks, I'm going to choose the same CPUs. And here are the results. Finally, some uh, memory benchmarks. And now onto the game benchmarks. These are gonna assess the power of the GPU, CPU and memory, uh, probably in this order. Probably uh, the 3D Mark 2003 would also have been a good idea, uh, but I didn't uh, had it on hand. And since the um, video card is uh, a DirectX 8, 
uh, I think uh, the 3 d Mark 2001 is a good choice for this. Next, we're gonna look at uh, Aquamark 3. And finally, we're gonna move to um, Comanche for benchmark and uh, Unreal Tournament 2003 benchmark. In order to conclude our assessment of the gaming performance, we're gonna actually look at some games from that era. We're gonna start off with uh, Mafia and then move on to the Medal of Honor Allied Assault.
And now that uh, all the tests are, are done, the motherboard performed great. I didn't see any signs of instability during the installation or any of the benchmarks. The fact that it took uh, the 20 front side bus increase like it was nothing and passed all the tests without any hiccups almost 20 years after it was manufactured really talks uh, for the quality ABIT was uh, producing back then. I'm sure that the default clocks are producing similar results uh, when compared to other motherboards of the era. Um, and uh, it would have been a better idea to have uh, all the tests done while the board was overclocked. But it's not mine, so I wouldn't risk it. I think uh, nowadays it's really hard to find a boxed item like this one. It's worth getting one if you plan on tackling some overclocking world records with it. Otherwise people are selling it overpriced and if you plan on keeping everything stocked you'd better look elsewhere. Thank you for watching and see you next time with the benchmarks for the AN7.